In this lesson, we're going to learn all about the cross-sectional study. We've reached a crossroads between the world of descriptive epidemiology and analytical epidemiology. Cross-sectional studies are unique because they fall somewhere in between. Therefore, they can be pretty valuable when it comes to building up the evidence base. It looks like we've had a little accident down on Main Street's busiest cross-section. That car found that tree to be the perfect target. Let's see how the driver tries to explain himself out of this one. Cross-sectional studies are also known as prevalence studies. This is because they examine prevalence of disease, not incidence. Luckily for our driver here, a lawyer is just one call away. Injured? You'll prevail with me. This dodgy-looking injury lawyer will help you remember that cross-sectional studies are prevalent studies. It's going to be difficult to argue this one in court. It was all caught on that overhead traffic cam. Like the snapshot taken by the camera, cross-sectional studies can provide a useful snapshot in time because we have the disease and exposure happening at the same time or very, very close together. You don't have to wait 20 or so years for a disease to occur like you would in a longitudinal study.